Hey Mason, hey Theo. Um, I thought I'd do another Babette Cole book. And since the other one was Prince Cinders, this one is Princess Smarty Pants. Ooh. By Babette Cole. I love Princess Smarty Pants. <laughs> How cool are the drawings? They must be her pet crocodile slash dragons. With a little steam coming out of their nose. Princess Smarty Pants didn't want to get married. She enjoyed being a miss. <laughs> Watching telly with the horse on there. What? Because she was very pretty and rich, all the princess wanted to marry her and to be there. To be their miss. Mrs. Mrs. Princess Smarty Pants. So when you get married, you go from being a, a Miss or Miss, Miss Nana to Mrs. Nana. So if you hear someone with a Mrs., it means that they're married. But it's always changing, so I'm not sure. Princess Smarty Pants wanted to live in her castle with her pets and do exactly as she pleased. <laughs> she is scrubbing her pets. What? Wow. <laughs> Did you see the washing? In between the two turrets of the castle. <laughs> mm. It's high time you smartened yourself up, said her mother, the queen. Stop messing about with those animals and find yourself a husband. What? This is an odd book. Suitors were always turning up to the castle, making a nuisance of themselves. Right, declared Princess Smarty Pants. Whoever can accomplish the tasks I set, as they say, will win my hand. Hand in marriage. Look at them all down here. Yay, I'll win for you. I can do it. This is definitely what they used to do in the old days. Old, old days when they lived in castles. I don't know about those pets though. <coughs> she asked Prince Compost <coughs> to stop her sl the slugs eating her garden. Wow, that is some slug. Ah! <laughs> he looks a bit grumpy. Looks like he's got a can of slug, uh, I don't know, slug pillar. I don't think that's going to do anything to that slug. She asked Prince Rushforth to feed her pets. Look, there he is running away. And she challenged Prince Pelvis to a roller marathon disco. Maybe they're listening to Ed Sheeran. Dancing on my own. That's a new song, Dancing on my own. Dancing with my eyes closed. Hmm. She invited Prince Bone Shaker for a cross-country bike, motorbike ride. It's going over the moat. Look at his face. His crown's fallen off. Ah! She called on Prince Vertigo to rescue her from the tower. Look at those guys laughing. He is too frightened of heights. He can't get up there. And she sent Prince 
bash them to chop some firewood from the royal forest. There he is. There's some creepy trees. I'd be running too. She suggested to Prince Betlock that he might like to put her, her pony through its paces. He's bucked him right out of the drawing. And she told Prince Grovel to take her mother, the Queen, shopping. Look at him. He's on his hands and knees. He's even got a parcel on his head and he looks like a horse. And do you know what she's buying? Underwear. Underwear for her bottom. <laughs> that does not look fun. I think I'd rather feed the slug a caterpillar. She commanded Prince Swimbladder to retrieve her magic ring from the goldfish pond. <laughs> hmm, I don't think she's going to get that back anytime soon. Maybe no. <laughs> I do like her pets. None of the princes could accomplish the tasks, she said. They all left disgraced. That's that then, said Smarty Pants, thinking she was safe. That's that then. Can you say that? That's that then. That's that then. That sounds funny. That's that then. Look at them all leaving. Then Prince Swashbuckle turned up. Wow, he's got a nice car. He stopped the slugs eating her garden. <coughs> oh. He's giving him beer or wine or something. He's drunk. He fed her pets. <laughs> Dropping the bones from the helicopter. Hmm. He roller discoed until dawn. rode for miles on her motorbike. He's got a blindfold on so he doesn't get scared. He's clever. What a clever prince. He rescued her from the tower. He's got suction cups on his knees. He's so clever. And he found some firewood to chop in the forest. He even tamed her horrid pony. I think he's hypnotised him. Cut myself today at work. My finger. He took her mother the queen shopping and retrieved her magic ring from the goldfish pond. Prince Swashbuckle didn't think Princess Smutty Pants was so smart. So she gave him a big magic kiss. And he 
turned into a gigantic warty toad. <laughs> Prince Swashbuckle left in a big hurry. She's going, doodaloo. <clears throat> when the other princes heard what had happened to Prince Swashbuckle, none of them wanted to marry Smarty Pants. And she lived happily ever after. <laughs> no birds are happy. No one lives happily ever after. There's always some bumps in the road. Just gotta keep, you like, you just gotta keep going. Well, that was fun. <laughs> well, I hope you like the book. Uh, I love you a lot. I don't have anything to say, anything to report. My crabs are doing well. It's freezing cold here in Melbourne. Uh, I've got the heater on, it's pretty noisy. Yeah, that's about it. Busy working, cut myself at work today. Ow! Cutting hair. Mm -hmm. All right, love you guys. Good night. <laughs>